Well, all the product that is currently that it's under MicroJix Productions, and they are all designed by myself. And uh, the reason I start, you know, all this other project is, say, the splitter, the MJ splitter is actually the second product after the, the gripper, the gripper being the first product. And, you know, because of the gripper need to straddle over the saw blade, so because in those days, most people don't use a splitter. They, they took the split out from their table saw and then they never put it back on there, you know, because of some other reason, you know. And uh, it's not only safety reason, but I think it is because of they can't see or they can't push the wood through because every time when they change the saw blade, the splitter is not going to work un unless they have to realign it again. So uh, most of the woodworkers they don't like to go through that process to throw it away. So when they don't have the splitter on and doing the gripper, but a lot of people still think they want to have a splitter you know, but they can't put the, the big chunk of metals splitter behind it. So that is why I came up with this, this MJ splitter, you know, to address to that problem. Okay, that, uh, well, actually, you know, it, it is more of what the woodworker requests when they're using uh, the gripper. And that is how I thought about the MJ splitter. Now that is a totally different approach than any splitter that is on the market. You know, it's, it has the featherboard effect on it and um, which is built in in the split system that, uh, that you can apply behind the blade. Now every woodworker knows you can't really put featherboard pressure right next to the saw blade once after the, the beginning of the saw blade, you know, but we are able to apply that pressure, meaning featherboard pressure, using the MJ splitter. And so you can employ that featherboard effect after the blade too, you know, so, and that's a, a plus, you know, so, uh, and all the other product that, uh, come along with that um, we haven't I haven't heard any product that has been designed in that way uh, for instance say like the tapering jig you know uh, besides from only spreading the jig by number of degrees it also can be controlled in incremental setting based on rise and run you know which it eliminate someone to draw a pencil line if they want to cut a taper leg. So you don't have to eyeball where your cut line is because whatever you set in there, it's there, you know. And uh, it is very precise and very easy to use. And uh, which, again, you know, it's something that it's not available, you know, and those are the approach that I, you know, uh, that I to get into, you know.